Now, sizzling mid-summer temperatures continue to have Korea very firmly in their grip, and there are very few areas where the battle against this kind of heat is more intense than in Daegu. Our Kim mo Gyan paid a visit to uh, Korea's southeastern city to see how people there try, at least, to keep cool. Since 1940, when the temperature in Daegu reached the 40 degrees Celsius mark for the first time, Daegu, located in southeastern Korea, has been known as one of the hottest cities in the country. Today, the temperature in Daegu peaked at a whopping 37 degrees Celsius. As you can see, fried eggs and melted traffic cones are placed around the area as a sign of the city's scorching heat. I was born and raised in Daegu. I think it's gotten even hotter these days. During the evenings, it feels like a sauna. Unlike Seoul, it's really, really hot here. My makeup gets messed up because of the sweat all over my face. Just like the term defrika, it's so hot. I feel like I'm going to get fried. In recent years, the city has been nicknamed Defrika to reflect how Tegu's weather conditions are becoming similar to Africa's. As such, every summer, the city has been striving to help its citizens beat the heat in various ways. This year, a special task force team has been formed to take care of numerous facilities and health care programs. One special facility is the cooling fog system. The cooling fog system sprays small particles of water in a form of a mist, which lowers the temperature of the atmosphere by up to 5 degrees. The water sprayed is not harmful to the human body because it comes from the public water supply system. The system was first installed in 2014, and as of today, 12 facilities are operating around Daegu. And because of its effectiveness, Seoul City recently benchmarked the system and installed it in the Gwanghwamun Square. Aside from this, hundreds of resting areas, camping sites and pools have been installed around the city to help residents and visitors overcome the heat. Efforts to lower surface temperatures are also ongoing. The so-called clean road system has been installed in the 9.1 kilometer section between the Manchon and Shindang intersections. It sprays wasted groundwater onto the road in order to cool the roads and cars and reduce fine dust particles at the same time. In addition to creating facilities to help the public cope with the weather, Daegu City is also directly lending a helping hand to those people who could be most vulnerable to the heat. In summer, more than 2,800 volunteers from various fields visit senior citizens and the disabled to assist them with their meals and provide them with necessary health care during hot days. During summer, we visit them on a weekly basis for about two months. We also call them frequently to check on their blood pressure and sugar levels, as well as give them emotional and practical support. The city is also handing out purified tap water bottles, watermelon and fans for free in parks, subway stations and public places where many people gather. They give us watermelons, fans and water in this hot weather, so I'm very happy and thankful. Every now and then, they give us water and care about our health during summer, so I want to say thank you. This year, the city will distribute a total of 210,000 bottles of water to the public, which is 68 percent more than what was handed out last year. After we began holding various Escape the Heat events, the number of patients suffering from heat stroke decreased dramatically last year. I hope that damages from the heat would further decrease this year and that the residents of Daegu spend a comfortable summer. The average summer period in Korea starts in May and continues until September. For the remaining summer months, Daegu City and its residents are expected to continue efforts to battle the heat in many more creative ways. Kim Mo-gyan, Arirang News.